What's going on, YouTube? This is your friendly neighborhood DraftKings Attic, bringing my top picks for Wednesday's main NBA DFS slate. All right, guys, so if you could go ahead and drop a like on the video for me real quick. It really helps out the channel. And if you're new to DraftKings Attic, don't forget to subscribe before you go. And as always, drop your comments below. Let me know who you love and who you hate. All right, guys, so yesterday I hit me a nice little fire lineup for 350.75. That uh, Milwaukee stack was off the chains with Giannis sitting out, um, okay, Chris Paul kind of underperformed in my opinion. All right. I thought he would get more than 38. But, hey, we can't complain about 38. Um, so, not bad. Then, of course, Jimmy Buckets and uh, Ben Simmons went off. So, uh, actually, you know, a couple of people on Philly went off. So, great, great lineup. So, let's go ahead and get into today's slate. All right, Draft Dashboard is my research too. The choice, guys. If you like what you see, there's a 30-day trial for one buck. The link to that deal is in the description of this video. Check it out if you like what you see as far as the twos. If you like it, keep it. If you don't, cancel it within 30 days. You only lose a dollar. All right. Cool beans. So first and foremost, we have a nine game slate. All right. Main slate. And we're going to uh point guard. And for me right now, my favorite point guard on the slate is by four is Dame Lillard going up against Dallas. No CJ McCullum. He put up 64 the last game. All right. This guy, 8.8K. It's too cheap. And he's at home. All right. My late night hammer is going to be Mr. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. Lillard. All right. My second favorite point guard is going to be Chris Dunn. All right, we got some uh, question marks around Mr. Levine. All righty, and uh, Chicago's a little tight on guards. Uh, but as you can see from the dash rank, uh, Mr. Dunn is in a good spot versus um, Washington. All righty, 230 point over and under. All right, this guy's playing an average of 30 minutes a game. Again, uh, if Levine is out. He's going to have extra responsibility, but if, if Levine is in, I still like him. And this guy right up under him, too, I like him as well. Drogic, all right, yes, it's a tough matchup versus San Antonio, but he's at home coming off a heater. Um, I may take a couple of stabs at uh, Mr. Goran Drogic. All right, but right now, Chris Dunn is my favorite. So next up, shooting guard. Actually, Chris Dunn was my shooting guard. <laughs> all right, uh, as far as my favorite plays, all right. So my other shooting guards that I like is going to be Mr. Pat Cunnington, man. And this is whether Giannis plays or not. All right, this guy's been playing a lot. Um, as you can see, averaging somewhere around 28 minutes over the last three games. All righty. So, um, if you look right here, uh, where are we at? Milwaukee right here. We got Brogdon out. Sheldon Brown is a game time decision. So they got a gang of people out on this side of the ball, but he's paying most of the backup minutes. All right, Mr. Content, and he's been smashing, as you can see, 36, 16, 25, and 25 in the last three games. So this is Cleveland, 3.6K. This game could get out of hand, as you can see. It's only a 10-point differ differential, which I'm surprised, to be honest. But let's wait and see. Giannis is question mark. All right, and so is Paul Gasol. So um, definitely like Pat Connaughton as a salary relief at 3.6K. Go ahead and um, get you some of that. All right. Also, right around the same price range for uh, relief, salary relief, uh, Mr. Daniel House over in Houston. All right. We got Eric Gordon sitting out. All right. He's out for this game today versus Memphis, so that guy's another guy that you can use to uh, fill in some salary if you need it. All right, so um, as far as uh, my small forward, right now my favorite small forward is going to be Jason Tatum. So I don't know if you've seen the last couple of games versus Philly, but this guy has has played very well versus them, 44, 47, and 41. All right, we got a questionable tag on Mr. Horford. All right, they're going into Philly, and if you saw the last game where they played um, Ben Simmons, and Mr. Tatum had a little bit of a, a, a competition going on there. So um, at 6K, this guy's history versus this team where he's averaging 44 points in the last three games is too cheap to ignore, in my opinion. So at 6.1K, I will have a good amount of Mr. Jason Tatum. All righty. If Giannis is out today, not sure. You have some issues with an ankle or something like that. So if he's out today, I'm going right back to the bucket when it comes to Chris Middleton, all right, and some of the other value guys over there in Milwaukee because they're playing against Cleveland, guys, all right? So keep an eye on that news, but as of right now, I'm going to assume Giannis is playing, but, hey, we'll see. Um, yeah, so as far as my power forward, I actually don't have a power forward. Awesome. So um, I was looking at marketing, all righty, going up against Washington. I'm going to keep the eye on the news, but uh, I think marketing is, is right now is in the running. Him and uh, Mr. Aaron Gordon. On the problem, Aaron Gordon doesn't seem like he has any real upside. You know what I mean? So you hadn't seen him go off for like 65 DraftKings points, uh, if ever. So um, 
yeah, I'm not quite sure who I got for Power Four. So let me know who you love as far as Power Four. It goes in the slate, uh, in the uh, comments, guys. All right. So as of right now, I'm leaning toward marketing. And at my center, my favorite center on the slate, um, is gonna have to be Nurkic going up against Dallas, who sent away all their bigs. You know, uh, DJ is gone. Uh, they have Powell at center, and uh, with CJ McCollum out, um, a lot of the offense is gonna fall on Nurkic and. Um, and uh, damn Dame Lillard. So um, at 7.1K, this guy's in a good spot at home versus Dallas. All righty, 7.1K should be able to get us at least five time value, if not smashing through that and getting more than that. But we'll see. So right now, at this moment, Nurkic is my favorite center. Second favorite center, to be honest, is Gobert. Gobert's been smashing lately, man. Look at that 53, 52, and 43 in his last two games. And versus New York, the three times they've met, he scored 48, 48, and 63. All right, so, but I want to get that discount with Nurkic and uh, pay 7.1K instead of paying 8.2, but I will have me some Go Bear as well. Um, other centers that I like on the slate um, is probably going to be, whew, I was looking at Vucevic, but, man, he's up there, man, as far as price, 9.5K. I was thinking about Embiid at home versus Boston. But that's a tough matchup for anybody, but Embiid, if anybody can definitely go off at home, <clears throat> Um, yeah, Clint Capella versus Memphis, maybe at seven point six k. So yeah, so those are a couple of centers. But as of right now, my favorite center definitely Nurkic. So, um, on Draft Dashboard, guys, once you go in there and select the players that you like uh, that you want to watch, quote unquote, uh, you can go over here to the lineup optimizer and allow Draft Dashboard to optimize your lineup. So as you can see, it's been forty nine six hundred. All right, so we got DJ Wilson in here though from Milwaukee though. So I don't know what's up with that, but. If you would like to change that person, you can either downgrade, upgrade them. Uh, you don't have a lot of options in here, but uh, yeah, so you get the point, though. So let's say I want to go with Anobi for whatever reason. So there you go. You would go ahead and lock in this lineup and hit save. And if you would like to build multiple lineups, you can use our mass lineup generator. You can build between 10, 20, 40, or 100 lineups. All right, you select your uh, preference here. Then click generate lineups and let draft dashboard do all the heavy lifting. And if you're pressed for time, guys, when you're watching this video, the NBA cheat sheet is right here for you. It has a lot of the top plays righty, on the slate when it comes to the different uh, price tiers. So definitely check that out if you press for time. So let's go ahead and look at today's slate. All right, so my favorites right now is Dame Lillard going up against uh, Dallas. Again, at home, averaging 50 DraftKings points versus this team. And again, this is with C.J. McCollum. So without C.J. McCollum, he should be able to get us a little bit extra. Chris Dunn, again, averaging 30 points versus Washington. In the past, we got a questionable tag on Levine. So I do like uh, Mr. Chris Dunn for his price at 5.4K. Pat Connaughton, again, averaging 30, uh, 28 DraftKings points versus Cleveland. And as you can see, he's been playing the minutes lately. All right, he played 36 versus L.A., but again, 25 to 30 minutes is what we're getting from content at 3.6K. He's putting up points. I like him for that salary relief. Jason Tatum, again, has smashed versus Philly in the past. 43 DraftKings points on average in three games played this year, and he's only 6.1K, and he's still playing 30-plus minutes over the last couple of games. So if this game is competitive and close, which is projected to be, I like Tatum to smash his value at 6K. Then again, Nurkic on the other side of that ball when it comes to that uh, Portland offense. He's going to be called to do more. He only played 26 minutes in the last three games on average versus Dallas. But his minutes have been up the last couple of games. Again, C.J. McCullum is out. So I expect Nurkic to do a little bit more when it comes to scoring the ball. So those are my favorite plays at the moment, guys. I would not have these five players in every single lineup. But I will have a good amount of them throughout my lineups. All righty. If James Harden plays, I like him. All righty. I've heard rumors that he supposedly may sit out for rest. But if James Harden suits up, I like him at 11.3K. All right, as you can see, three games on the year, he's averaging 76 DraftKings points versus Memphis. He obliterates them. So, at 11.3K, I will have some James Harden if he plays, especially with uh, Eric Gordon, Splash Gordon being out. All right, also, Chris Paul, I like him as well. Um, yeah, so... That's all my takes, guys. So thank you for your love. Again, drop a like on the video if you could before you go. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, guys, thank you so much, and I'll holler at you guys tomorrow.